Are you sure that it's picking up the H4N when you're recording inside of the software and it's not actually using your internal microphone? I actually don't know how this, that worked for the Adobe Audition. I just kind of record it. So I'm just curious. Okay. Let's do you, do you uh, I, I'm very concerned that you're using the wrong microphone and you may not be realizing it. Yes. So this confirms my thought. If you're using your internal microphone, you're not, you haven't actually recorded with the H4. Okay. If that, if that microphone setting is not on H4, it's not using the H4, which is why you're not hearing a difference. You're using your internal. So select, select H4. Good. Now go over. Great. Now drop, sorry, go over to your output. Yes. Yep. Drop that. Yep. Drop that down. This one. Okay. No. So we want built-in output. Built-in output is correct. That's your that's your internal um, computer speakers. Okay. Okay. This is the setting. Okay. And then if I push this, will it record my sound and my mm -hmm. voice when mm -hmm. I speak? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Go to your go to your output settings. Log in and go to the output setting. Yep. Plug it in. Plug in your headphones. Um, go to your system preferences on your Mac. There we go. Yeah. System preferences and go to sound and there we go. Output. Okay. There's your headphones. Good. Okay. Good. I just want to check because we have to be really conscious when we use audio software that the settings on the computer are correct and also the settings inside the software are correct. So that looks all good. Click on your input. Aha. Now click on H4 here. There we go. So that might be part of the problem too. You've got to make sure your computer is, is using the H4 for your input. Remember that input, it's what's coming into the computer, not to your ears. What's coming into the computer. That's your input. So that's your microphone. Your output is what's coming out from the computer. So that's your headphones. Okay. Does that make sense? Sometimes it's confusing and, and we reverse our thinking, but input is into the computer. That's your microphone and output is out from the computer. That's your headphones. Can yeah, you this, hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. This is all good. Okay, good. Now. Okay. And now we're going to go up to, um, edit. Uh, oh. There you go. Yep. Uh, oh, wait, where are your preferences? Uh, sorry, go to file. Oh, it's that's right. It's different in yes. there. We go. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. And go to audio hardware. There we go. All right. And your input good is H4 and your output. Go ahead and drop down your output. No, no, uh, no, no. That, that's your master clock. See default output oh. right there. And okay, so it's your built-in out. Yes. Yes. Okay. So click OK. Great. And now let's just record. Great. So, yep. Give it a little title. Yep, that works. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Good. Okay. Good in Adobe Audition and it's not showing um, uh, preferences under edit. You're in a Mac, yes. Okay, yeah. go ahead and do your screen share. Oh, actually no, go over one. That's right, that's where this word is. Go over to where it says Adobe Audition. Over here. Oh, there it is. is. There it is, yeah, click into your audio hardware. Okay. There it is. And there you can confirm your input into the computer. That's your microphone and output out from the computer. That's your headphones. It should match your system preferences though in a Mac. So it should be fine. Okay. So as long as your system preferences are right. Yeah, there you go. Yep. You can just say don't show again. Oops. Okay. Good. All right. Well, that was just, I... Good. Just let me, edit. yeah, let me show you something though. So uh, click okay. Good. And see down at the bottom where it says levels. Yes. Go down into the actual, um, yeah. And right click. Oh wait, you can't. Oh, there he is. Okay. You see that right there? 120, 96, 72, 60, 48, 24. Uh -huh. That will give you 
something similar to a gain control. Oh, okay. So you can mess around with that a little, a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know, you can't fine tune it. You're stuck in those decibel ranges, but uh -huh. it will uh, kind of emulate a gain control. So if you do, if you do end up clipping, go down to 48. So I, when I was playing with things, I played in both GarageBand and Audacity. And both times I felt like I was fine getting the microphone connected, but when I tried to put my headphones into my computer, oddly enough, it, the sound wasn't going through the headphones okay. um, and I couldn't like select the options or anything. Is that similar to the microphone and that it has to be plugged in before I open the program? Or no, let's, let's do a screen share. Do you have your headphones there? Okay. So here's what I've noticed after just now playing with things. Um, if I plug in my microphone and plug my headphones into my microphone, I'm using a Blue Yeti, then I, then the sound goes, everything goes through the microphone, which right. is normal. Um, but when I plug the headphones into my computer, I don't get any sound. So let's plug your headphones into your computer and do a screen share, and we'll just check your input and output settings, because it's, it's probably just trying to play your sound through your USB mic, which is common and not what we want. <laughs> oh, system, there we go. System preferences. Great. We need to go to audio sound. There it is right there. Right there. Great. Okay. So right now we and are playing. I... So, so, so you see those input and output? Mm-hmm. Okay, so output, that's your speakers. Now plug in your headphones to your computer. Plug in your headphones to your computer. Great. There we go. So now it's, it's found. Me, uh -huh. I, like I see that it popped up, but I'm not hearing anything through the headphones. Um. It's muted. It's muted. Sorry. It's mu well, there we go. It was muted. It was muted. Oh, what this was? Yeah, plug it back. Do you see the mute? Do you see the mute button there? See that? It's muted. Now Yay. do you hear me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is exactly what I talk about. It's always some super easy thing and you're like, why won't this work? Input, external microphone. Make sure you have Yeti selected. Hello, hello. So it's on. That's interesting. Make um, sure you have, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I have to, if I plug it into the microphone, I can hear you. Okay, notice your Yeti microphone is not selected. This is a very yeah. big deal. So yeah. select it. Okay, when I select Yeti, basically getting the same result, but. Okay, so now we're going to, you've got the Yeti selected. Can you hear me, Sarah? Yes. Okay. Plug your headphones back into your computer, go back over to output and see if it mutes automatically again. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Your output needs yeah. to be your headphones, not your Yeti. You need to change that once oh, you get your headphones plugged in. I am thinking in. opposite. I'm so sorry. I was thinking <laughs> what I'm outputting and it's, it, okay. No, yeah. It's, okay. Out, output is the computer output. <laughs> yes. Okay, do it again. Thank you. <laughs> Headphones, input, Blue Yeti. Okay. Now. Okay, so can you hear me muted. now? Can you hear me? I cannot hear you still. Go back to output. Go back. Click on it. Click on output. Output? Yeah. Huh. And you can't hear me now? No sound, no sound. Interesting. Okay, one minute. Say something. You can hear me now? Hello, yeah. hello. Okay. Okay, great. No, it's just, yeah. Okay. All right, so then I guess that's the setting for the Yeti on a Mac. It's just going to force you to use the Yeti as your output and okay. your input because like it's picking up our sound like in the microphone right. like so it's, yeah so it's monitoring yeah 
but it's not connecting to your computer or the computer is not seeing it as a microphone, but it's- Could it be like the, the cable? That is one thought. Did, is that the cable that came with it? No, it didn't come with a cable to plug into. Um, well, I don't know. This is for my headphones. I kind of got a lot of technology stuff all at once, and so I'm trying to keep track of. Yeah, I think it was just this. It didn't come with a cable. And so I'm just using the one that I used to plug in my tablet and then my Apple adapter. So I don't know if things are just not compatible uh... with each other. Show me, show me the other end. Show me where you're plugging into your. Oh wait, you can't, duh, because you're on your computer. Uh, oh, well, it's sorry. just a USB C. Yeah, and you have the USB C plugged into what though? Like a lightning, um, a lightning hub? Ooh, I don't know. It's just this adapter. Show me thing. that. It's just the that, and then it's just USB. Yeah, it's a hub. So that's. Did you specifically look up, could an H1N be used with a Mac? Because maybe that's the issue. I did, and it seems like they could. Seems like they were doing it just fine. A lightning to USB camera adapter is necessary to connect an iOS device. A lightning to USB camera adapter. Oh, With a lightning okay. USB camera, it's easier to download photos and videos from your digital camera to your iPad or iPhone. But for whatever reason, Zoom, so like when I look at the operation manual right here, very specifically, it says a huh. lightning to USB camera adapter is necessary. What? So, I mean, obviously they, they don't go on to explain why that is, but whatever they've done, this is what is required to get this to communicate with a Mac iOS. Okay, let me so write that, that might down. be the issue. Here, let me, it's, uh, wow, it's. $16 or $29 on Amazon, depending on. A USB, USB-C adapter like that, but that's not the same as lightning. And then if I had a lightning, I would just have to plug it into this hub. Wait, no, if you have a lightning, doesn't it go straight into your Mac? No, because I only have USB-C on it. Your USB-C, oh, sorry, your Mac only receives USB-C? Yeah. <laughs> It's really frustrating. Uh, I'm very confused. Show me, show me your lightning. I have like, lightning to USB-C. Okay, but your Mac doesn't take the lightning end of that cable? No. Your Mac only takes USB-C? Yep. <laughs> um, you, like mini USB, I think. So what you actually need is a mini USB to mini USB uh, to USB-C. If we were to do a straight line, it would have to be a cable that's mini USB on one side and USB-C on the other side. And that would still have, yeah, that's true. That would work. Do those exist? They do. Hang on, let me, let me go back to the Amazon. So mini USB to USB-C. Okay, let me do a share screen. So here's what I'm looking at. Do you see this? Yeah. So they exist, but then my question is, with that connection, is your computer going to recognize it as an audio interface? In other words, are we going to end up having the same problem where it, it's not, like it sees hardware, but it doesn't see it as an audio interface? Yeah. Which is what you're currently experiencing. It, it sees that there's hardware, but it's not recognizing its function. Okay, so I've now sent you this one which would be a direct line but we run the risk and i don't they're never going to have that at walmart they might who knows um <laughs> but we still run the risk that your computer may not recognize it as an audio interface the next one is if you get and right. this is what Zoom says to get the camera adapter which we know zoom is saying it will recognize it as an audio interface which makes no sense but that's how it is the question remains will that be at um i was gonna say at mcdonald's at <laughs> walmart <laughs> that would be a cool prize for the kids meal <laughs> unlikely but worth looking at it okay um, and then i'm also sent you the full user manual okay 